Democratic Congresswoman Jackie Speer, a member of the Intel Committee. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my understanding is that last night you thought you were going to get to see some of the there there, some of these documents that Nunes is talking about, but you didn't. What happened? Well, we have not received any of the documents, and uh, it may be weeks before we do. Now, the interesting thing, Chris, is that uh, if he, in fact, looked at these documents on a computer in the executive office building, uh, there are computers in the SCIF that we could have looked at the same documentation. Uh, they clearly don't want us to know who was the leak and it's it's someone in the administration no doubt about it and well, you got to have some doubt because we don't know yet but you're right there's a lot being withheld from Nunes in terms of the procedure here who let him into the White House who helped him get into a computer system if it was I mean there's a lot of process here that could reveal where it was coming from he has not wanted to be forthcoming and that is what leads to the main point of Democrat distress it seems do you trust Nunes well, he has violated the first principle of doing an investigation. It has to be independent. If you become a White House whisperer, you are not being independent. And anything he told the president, frankly, and not telling the ranking member, it, it violates one of the first precepts of uh, a committee that's supposed to be bipartisan, mm -hmm. supposed to be uh, working together in an investigation of the White House. This all started to explode last week after Director Comey said not only was he doing an investigation, but he was doing an investigation of the Russian connections with the Trump campaign. That was the first time that had come out, and that was very explosive. Originally, it was just looking at the Russians meddling in our election process. So uh, the whole uh, tenor of the committee right. changed dramatically. After we had that hearing, uh, then all of a sudden there was the, a cancellation of our hearing uh, today, a hearing that should be something the American people have an opportunity to hear about, the Russians' plans and intentions, how they operate, how they are right. able to pull all this off how they did it, what we can learn from it, how can we avoid it. That's all been distracted uh, by what we're seeing now in terms of unmasking of leaks and all this Nunes drama. But my question again, given everything you've just said, do you trust Nunes? I don't trust him. I, I mean, I think he's a very nice man. I think he is, frankly, over his head. I think he used very poor judgment, and I think he has tainted the committee. I actually think that there is an effort underway to, uh, to shut this committee down by the president. He does not want this committee's investigation to move forward, and if he can knock us off, then he's only got to find a way to knock off the Senate right. um, investigation. Well, I mean, look, that's obvious. Right. I mean, he's been tweeting the president of the United States. Really, what you should be looking at, Jackie Spear, is the Clintons and their Russia uh, associations. He's directing people to watch a different morning show this morning to hear about the Clintons and money and John Podesta. So his intentions are clear. He doesn't want this spotlight on him. That shouldn't be a main interest of yours if you want to get to the truth. But what do you do now? Should Nunes step down? Should he just recuse himself? What are you asking for? Well, I'm asking for him to step down in the interests of what we all care about, which is the integrity of our intelligence community and the integrity of our electoral process. And I don't think that he can just recuse himself and still chair the committee. Um, we, we operate in very close quarters. Um, he is the chair, so if he says something to one of his staffers, well, how's this going or what's happening here? They're going to be very um, loath to not uh, respond to him. So I think that the writings on the wall. Uh, this may make a good spy novel. It doesn't make a good investigation. You know, what do you think of this? That you should leave this to the FBI. The questions of any type of inappropriate contacts or points of combination between Trump staff or officials and Russia vis-a-vis -vis any interference. Uh, it's going to be partisan. You'll never escape it. There is too much invested in the current president now. He will fight it. Lawmakers do not have the jurisdiction. They do not have the same powers that the FBI and the DOJ do. Leave it to them. You should take a look at questions that you can handle without partisan stain about what to do because of this, maybe something about leak protocols, and just stick to that. Well, in truth, they have a different role within the FBI and the Department of Justice. They're looking to determine whether or not there are criminal acts that have taken place 
uh, by U.S. persons. And we're looking more from a perspective of um, to what extent our intelligence is being challenged, uh, to what extent our electoral system is being challenged that needs legislative remedy. Um, there's a whole question afoot as to whether or not we have an electoral process that is safe, that we can count on it. Um, do we have to go back to hand counting of ballots? Uh, do we need paper trails? Uh, many of these electronic systems don't have paper trails. So all of that is part and parcel of this investigation investigation that we're charged to do. But it's shut down right now because right. of what has happened with Nunes. So what is the way forward? Well, the way forward, in my view, if in fact uh, the majority of Republicans in the House uh, want to have a fair and objective process moving forward, they need to replace um, Devin, Devin Nunes and then... Ryan um, just said he has complete confidence and faith in Nunes that he's doing a fair and credible job. They're not going to replace Nunes. That's always the, the first statement that um, suggests that they're about to, to change. <laughs> <laughs> we always have Is that how problems. it works? So if they say something nice about the guy he's done, that's how you see it? Well, I mean, that's oftentimes the case. Let me just say that. Well, listen, we're all very interested in this because there are fundamental questions about the uh, security of our democracy. And we'll be watching on this. Jackie Spear, let us know if you're able to see anything that the American people uh, should know about as well.